So it's been a number of days that Andrew Tate and his associates have been held by authorities on allegations of human trafficking and rape. And since that happened, a number of videos and comments and voicemails and text messages have come out of specifically from Andrew Tate declaring that he had raped people and that he loved that he had raped people. And I'm not saying that I thought that would get through to people, but if you thought that it would get through to people, the fact that masses of men are parading through the streets of Athens in defense of him after all of that stuff came out isn't great. It's not great for men, it's not great for our world, it's not great for humanity. That there appears to be nothing Tate can do, no length he can go to that will succeed in letting his cultists know that he loves the concept of raping and brutalizing women. He just states it outright over and over and over again. But again, I'm, I'm sort of misconstruing things. I can't speak for all of the men that marched there. This isn't about believing it happened or not. This is about whether you care. Is it a bad thing to rape women? Is it a bad thing to beat women, to subjugate women, to exploit women? This isn't about whether he did it, it's about whether those are things that we should care at all about. Are women humans that have rights, that deserve dignity and consideration, or do they not? And I'm, I guess I'm at kind of a loss because I'm coming into this whole Tate thing a couple of years late. I think he's already won that argument with millions of men, and that's what truly scares me, Bridget. Yeah, I mean, Andrew Tate has explicitly said that he does not think that women have rights, should have rights. Um, so he, you know, he, he's already made that very clear. Um, you used the word cultist earlier, and I really want to drill into that because something I really, really think is important about Andrew Tate is that the the millions of men who listen to his programming, the people who are marching in the streets, he is conning these men. He has openly talked about how he makes millions of dollars by getting men to sign on to what is basically yeah. an MLM that he runs. These people are being grifted and duped by someone who does not care about them and who weaponizes their hate and their vulnerability and their fear to make money. Andrew Tate is a scammer, he is a grifter. He is every girl that you went to high school with who sends you a Facebook message that's like, hey girly, ever thought about selling leggings? You'd be so good at it. The only <laughs> difference is that he is weaponizing misogyny and hate and stoking something very dangerous inside of a generation of young men and boys. It is disgusting, it is very dangerous. And people need to understand he is doing it to make money, to personally enrich Andrew Tate. He doesn't care about any of these people that he is somehow able to get to march in the streets in support of him. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, in defense of the person from high school, the worst crime they've committed against women is getting them to purchase overpriced <laughs> and probably poor quality <laughs> leggings. Nothing beyond Correct. that at least. Yeah, yeah, and look, I, I doubt there's a single person who would still be watching this clip at this point that likes Andrew Tate. They probably clicked on it and then immediately typed something about how the Matrix is coming for him and women don't deserve rights or something, and then clicked away. But if you are here, Bridget is 100% right. I know that you believe that if you follow Andrew Tate, you'll get gorgeous women to sleep with you and you'll become rich. What you need to bear in mind is that while he implies that he has gotten rich off a variety of different ways, he hasn't. He's stolen money from women who he has forced into sex work. Um, I assuming you're not gonna duplicate that, so that road's probably closed to you. And he actually made money by selling classes. Now maybe you can start a Hustler University, but if you're not planning on doing that, you're not going to get rich following Andrew Tate. In fact, you're going to get $50 less rich every single month for the rest of your life. That's going to be the extent of his financial impact on your life. Um, really fast, he uh, there's this thing going around that is so stupid. Take a look at this picture from Vice. It's a hand gesture you can use to show support for him, which is very cool and mature. It's a thing adults do. Uh, also, probably a good thing that your uh, hero is so toxic that you can't openly show support for him. You have to do a secret hand symbol. That's probably a good thing to be involved in. And then, there, look, there's a lot of stuff where, like, people are speculating. They're good. They're good, like, conspiracy theorists, researchers, and stuff about the connection, the Illuminati, and all that. Like, at the end of the day, it's like we don't need to dignify this. 
I know how this happened. Andrew Tate is an idiot. He is just clever enough to say, I'm gonna do this thing and they're gonna love it. And that's right, they will. He'll do a thing or he'll say a word and they will just, they are sheep eager. Like they want to be conned by him. So he does the hand thing and then they do the hand thing. And I'm not saying that it's not troubling if you're a teacher and a whole bunch of 12 year old boys are starting to do this or whatever, that is deeply distressing. Um, but there's no deeper meaning to it. It's just a, it's a, a meme, it's an in group thing. It's designed to show a connection to this incredibly toxic, horrible person, that's it. Anyway, final thoughts, uh, Bridget. I think you're exactly right. I think it's really sad that someone would need to like what kind of normal healthy adult whose claim is that everybody loves him, he's so rich, needs to have a secret hand gesture to so to show support of him. Like think about it. Yeah, I the like societal deprogramming that's going to be necessary for this is just so awful. And again, like if you are a Tate fan, like I don't understand how you cannot see how much following this man sets you back specifically in the areas where you so explicitly desperately need help. You need financial help and I don't doubt it. It's very tough times. Handing your money over every month to a con artist is no way to get out of that hole. You have problems with women or whatever. Training yourself to hate them more, fear them more, attack them more is not the magic solution to your relationship and sexual problems that you've been convinced it is. Um, but what do I know? I'm only in a happy marriage. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.